So fellow problem solvers, thank you for joining in again. My name is Johan Westeisen. Integers, understanding them and understanding the direction of them. I mean, adding numbers, subtracting numbers above sea level, below sea level, being in debt, being in credit. I mean, all of these makes more sense if you understand integers and directed numbers. Stay tuned for more. Yes, fellow problem solvers, so let's look at a few examples. Why? Because examples always helps you to understand. So, let's think about negative and positive numbers again, integers. Um, direction is the best way to understand uh, this number line. So, again, if we go to the right, we are increasing, okay? If we go to the left, we are decreasing. And you need to understand this the moment you do calculations, okay? Because to increase, how do you increase a number? You add, right? You add numbers to it. But when we decrease, we are subtracting. So and this, is, this will help you tremendously to understand how to work with integers. So the moment I've got, again, like let's say 5 minus 2, then I'm going to jump from 5, 2 units to the left. And we all know 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. But if I'm going to say 1 plus 4, then we're going to move to the right. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, as we already know. Let's, um, and it does not change with the negative numbers. Let's say we start at negative 6, and I say plus 5. Then we start at negative 6, and we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our answer is negative 1. So this will help you to understand. So let's say negative 6 plus 5 equals negative 1. This is the one example I used. And let's say the other one was 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So I want you to try this. I want you to practice this on your own. Other examples to help you understand are the ones in daily life. Let's think about elevation. Okay, so I live close to the ocean. So it's close to sea level. So sea level in this case will be zero. But if you live above sea level, like currently I'm about 50 meters above sea level, can you see it's a directed number from zero gives me a direction and the magnitude, the size of the number. So in other words, 50 meters above sea level. Let's think of Mount Everest. It's about almost 9,000 kilometers above sea level. So that's one way of understanding it. So it will help you to understand. But what is below sea level? If we go into the ocean, like Mariana Trench is an example that's be far below sea level, approximately 3,000, 4,000 meters, right? Or the Dead Sea is 420 meters below sea level. So in that case, we'll have a zero and then a directed number, either up or down. The same can be understood if you think about um, debt or credit. Like if you're in debt, that means you owe somebody money. So that will be an example of a negative number. You owe a person money, therefore you're in debt. But if you're, if you're in credit, that means somebody owes you money or you have money in credit. You've got more than zero. Understand? Um, so those are two examples that will help you to understand directed numbers but also uh, this example to really understand your calculations and that's what the next video will be about uh, is calculating and working with integers so remember this uh, with the next video as well stay tuned for more